If you're looking for a slice of paradise on Lake Gara, Limone Solgara is the place to be. This beautiful town is famous for its stunning views, rich history, and, you guessed it, lemons. In this video, we're going to take you on a journey through Limone Solgara, showing you why it's a must visit on your travel list. From exploring its vibrant streets to soaking up the incredible lake views, this town has something for everyone. Limone Solgara is a beautiful town located on the northwestern shore of Lake Gara, famous for its stunning lake views and rich history. The town's name is likely derived from the ancient word lemos, meaning elm, or from the Latin word limes, meaning boundary, reflecting its historical role as the border between the communes of Brescia and the bishopric of Trento. The connection with lemons began in the 13th century, when monks introduced lemon cultivation, taking advantage of the mild climate. Today, these lemon groves are a symbol of limone, and as you explore the town, you'll notice the influence of lemons everywhere, from limoncello to lemon-scented products. With just over 1,000 residents, Limone Solgada may be small, but it's packed with charm and history. The narrow streets, colourful buildings, and panoramic views of the lake and mountains create a unique setting that captures the essence of Italian lakeside life. Getting to Limone Solgada is part of the adventure, and there are a few ways to make your way to this beautiful town. If you're driving, the roads leading to Limone Solgada offer some of the most scenic drives in Italy, with views that will make you want to stop and snap a photo at every turn. Just follow the signs for Lake Gara and you'll be on your way. If you're coming from a nearby city like Verona or Milan, taking public transport is easy. You can catch a train to Desenzano del Gara or Rovereto and from there hop on a bus or a ferry straight to Limone Sol Gara. The ferry ride in particular is an experience you won't want to miss. Gliding across the lake with the mountains as your backdrop is nothing short of spectacular. For those flying in, the nearest airports are Verona Villafranca and Milan Bergamo. From there, you can rent a car or use public transport to reach Limono Solgada. The drive from either airport takes around 1.5 to 2 hours, depending on traffic. No matter how you choose to get here, the journey to Limone Solgada is as beautiful as the destination itself. Once you arrive, you'll see why this little town is worth the trip. Timing your visit to Limone Solgada can make all the difference. The best time to experience this town in all its glory is during the late spring and early autumn months. Think May, June, September and early October. During these times, the weather is warm but not too hot, making it perfect for exploring the town and enjoying the lake without the summer crowds. July and August are peak tourist months, and while the weather is ideal for swimming and sunbathing, you'll find the town much busier. If you don't mind the crowds and want to experience the buzz of high season, this could be the time for you. Winter in Limone Solgada is much quieter, and while it might not be beach weather, the town takes on a peaceful charm. The streets are less crowded, and you can enjoy a more relaxed pace as you explore. Plus, if you're into hiking, the cooler temperatures make it a great time to hit the trails. If you want to avoid the crowds, but still enjoy pleasant weather, late April and early May, or late September and early October are ideal. The town feels more local, and you can take your time soaking in the sights. No matter when you choose to visit, Limone Solgada offers something special year round. But for the best experience, aim for the shoulder seasons, when the weather is great and the crowds are thinner. After stepping off the ferry, we grabbed our luggage and took a short but steep walk up to the main road to the tourist information center. We asked them to call us a taxi and we were super excited when we saw it was a tuk-tuk taxi. We loaded our bags into the back and hopped into the quirky little vehicle. Our driver skillfully maneuvered through the town, taking us past colorful buildings, local shops and glimpses of the lake as we made our way uphill to Hotel Cristina. The open sides of the tuk-tuk gave us a great view of the surroundings as we wound through the charming streets. Arriving at the hotel, we were greeted by stunning views of Lake Garda, a perfect start to our stay. After settling in at the hotel, we decided to explore Limone Salgada on foot. Walking through the streets of this town is like stepping back in time. The narrow cobblestone lanes are lined with colourful houses, each with its own character. And you can't help but stop and admire the little details. Flowers spilling over balconies, old wooden shutters, and the occasional glimpse of the lake between the buildings. As we wandered, we came across small shops selling everything from local crafts to lemon-themed souvenirs. The town's connection to lemons is everywhere, from the decorative tiles on the walls to the fresh lemons hanging in doorways. It's a reminder of Limone's unique history and culture, and it adds a special charm to the whole experience. The town is small enough that you can cover a lot of ground without getting tired, yet there's always something new around each corner. After exploring the town, we decided it was time to hit the water. Renting a boat on Lake Gata is one of the best ways to experience the area from a different perspective. We headed down to the marina, where several rental companies offer a range of boats, whether you're looking for something small and easy to handle or a bit more spacious. We chose a small motorboat, which didn't require any special license to drive. You can hire the boat for different amounts of time. We had ours for two and a half hours, which cost us about 170 euros. After a quick safety briefing and some instructions, we were off. 
cruising across the calm, clear waters of Lake Garda. The views from the lake are stunning, with the mountains rising up around you and the colourful buildings of Limone Solgata dotting the shoreline. Across the lake, we saw the beautiful town of Marchesne and its huge castle. We stopped a few times to jump into the water. The water was crystal clear and refreshing, perfect for cooling off after a day of exploring. Swimming in the lake, surrounded by such natural beauty, was an unforgettable experience. Once we were done swimming, we spent a little more time cruising around before heading back to the marina. Renting a boat is a must-do when you're in Limone. It's a fantastic way to see the area and enjoy the lake up close, and a good way to swim without all the crowds of the beaches. Back on land, we continued our journey through Limone Solgata by exploring the local shops and discovering the town's connection with lemons. As we wandered through the narrow streets, we found ourselves surrounded by stores brimming with lemon-themed products. Everything from lemon soaps and candles to lemoncello and lemon-infused olive oils. There are heaps of small shops dedicated entirely to lemon products. The shelves are lined with homemade lemon marmalades, lemon chocolates, and even lemon flavored pasta, each with a unique twist that you won't find anywhere else. In addition to the lemon shops, we also explored a few boutiques offering handmade crafts, ceramics, and souvenirs that reflect the local culture and craftsmanship. These shops are perfect for picking up a unique memento of your trip or a gift for someone back home. Everywhere we went, the scent of fresh lemons filled the air, reminding us of how central this fruit is to the identity of Limone Selgada. As we continued exploring Limone Solgata, it became clear that one of the town's biggest attractions is the breathtaking views. Whether you're standing by the lake, wandering through the streets, or hiking up to a higher vantage point, the scenery is nothing short of spectacular. One of the best spots to take in the views is from the lakeside promenade. Here, you can enjoy uninterrupted views of the sparkling waters of Lake Garda, framed by the towering mountains that rise dramatically in the distance. The contrast between the blue of the lake and the green of the surrounding landscape is a sight you won't forget. We also discovered a few hidden viewpoints as we walked through the town. A quick climb up some steps or a detour down a quiet path often led us to spots where we could pause and take in the panoramic scenes. From these points, you can see the colourful buildings of Limone, the boats gliding across the lake, and the lush greenery that surrounds the town. While Limone Solgata is a destination in its own right, there are plenty of nearby attractions that are well worth a visit if you have some extra time. One of the most popular day trips is to the nearby town of Riva Delgada. Just a short ferry ride away, Riva Delgada offers a mix of history, shopping, and beautiful lakeside walks. Its medieval fortifications and vibrant piazzas make it a great place to spend a few hours exploring. Another fantastic option is Malchesne, a charming town located on the opposite shore of Lake Garda. Malchesne is famous for its well-preserved medieval castle, Castello Scaglior, which offers incredible views of the lake from its tower. You can also take a cable car from Malchesne up to Montebaldo, where you'll be treated to breathtaking panoramic views and plenty of opportunities for hiking. For those interested in venturing further afield, the town of Simeone is within reach. Known for its thermal baths and the impressive Grotte de Catullo, the ruins of a Roman villa, Simeone is a perfect mix of relaxation and history. Getting to these nearby towns is easy. The ferries are frequent and offer a scenic way to travel across Lake Garda. If you prefer to drive, the roads are well marked and provide their own set of stunning views along the way. Exploring beyond Limone Solgata adds another layer to your trip, giving you a broader sense of the beauty and diversity of the Lake Garda region. When it comes to where to stay in Limone Solgata, there are several options to suit different tastes and budgets. During our visit, we stayed at Hotel Cristina, which we found to be a fantastic choice for several reasons. Hotel Cristina is perched on a hillside, giving it a prime location with stunning views over Lake Garda. The rooms are comfortable and come with balconies that allow you to soak in the beautiful scenery right from your doorstep. The hotel also offers multiple swimming pools, perfect for cooling off after a day of exploring and a spacious terrace where you can enjoy breakfast with a view. For those looking for other options, Hotel Splendid Palace is another great choice. It's closer to the town centre, making it convenient for walking around Limone's shops and restaurants. This hotel also boasts fantastic views, especially from its lakeside rooms. If you're travelling on a budget, Hotel Monteboldo offers more affordable accommodation without compromising on location. It's right on the lakefront, providing easy access to the promenade and ferry docks. There are also numerous charming bed and breakfasts scattered throughout the town, offering a more intimate experience with a personal touch. Many of these smaller accommodations are run by locals who are happy to share their knowledge of the area, making your stay even more special. No matter where you choose to stay, the views and hospitality in Limone Solgata are sure to make your visit unforgettable. Limone Solgata truly offers something for every traveler. From its stunning lake views and rich history, to its unique lemon culture and charming streets, this town is a perfect mix of relaxation and adventure. Whether you've enjoyed a boat ride on the crystal clear waters of Lake Garda, 
wandered through the lemon-scented streets or taken in the panoramic views from the hillside, Limone Solgata leaves a lasting impression. If you're planning a trip to Italy, make sure Limone Solgata is on your list. Thanks for joining us on this journey, and we hope this guide helps you make the most of your visit to Limone Solgata.